I'm Johnny Scoville and this is Chase Eat. It's going to be a great day. Starting it off with a beauty, but man, I got a, a really good challenge this afternoon. Um, using a format I did. If you want to see the format, go to, the, go to my channel here and search how to survive 10 rounds of the hottest peppers. Same format I'm going to use for this one. And I'm going to be eating these. Just the most amazing peppers. These are RB003, created by Ross Barber, um, grown by, uh, that Bill? No, that was grown by Jeff Hobbs. Uh, what it is is a red uh, brain strain that's been crossed with a yellow reaper. Super excited about that. It's gonna be a doozy. But first, but first, beautiful white Buccalochia. Now, I'm really excited about this pepper. He's got this pressure on uh, Mighty Mustache. This pepper was grown by Mighty Mustache. And here's why there's pressure on the Mighty Mustache. Um, the last time I ate a Buccalochia that he, he grew, it was the best tasting white Buccalochia I've ever had. I mean, it really, it's, it really was incredible. Um, Tom Broom said the same thing. So he really made a great pepper, so I grew a great pepper. So I'm hoping that this is gonna be, if it's the same, if it's just as tasty, then he's got a, a strain of some peppers that are just better tasting than others. Here's the outside one more time. I'm gonna show you the interior now, look at that. Look at that. Beautiful pepper. Now, oh, it smells fruity and It has a stronger aroma than most white peppers. My mouth is watering. So here's the deal. It's a, a ghost pepper, essentially. It's a butch like a ghost pepper. Now, a red ghost pepper is somewhere in the vicinity of 900,000 scoville, a little over 900,000 scoville, pretty close to a million, actually. Um, now, as the color, you know, chocolate red, and as the color starts going down, I think the heat does, too. The white pods tend to be the least hot of whatever strain of pod that is. Like if it's a, um, if you're talking about reapers, the white reaper is not as hot as, it's the least hot of all the reapers. Same holds true with, you know, seven pot primo. Just white peppers aren't as hot as the, the other color. I'm hoping this, I'm not, so if I'm not worried about the, the, the uh, heat of this, uh, I'm not worried if it's gonna be hot or if I'm not looking for great heat, but what I want is that same flavor I had last time because Mighty Mustache grew a great, White Buccalochia. So, no pressure on you, Mighty Mustache, but here we go. The White Buccalochia. I'm Johnny Scoville. And this is Chase the Eat. Very juicy for a pepper, for a super juicy pepper. It's just a great tasting white pepper. There's some sweetness up front. It's fruity. This was so juicy. It was like, but it was uh, ah, it start. It was very very fruity throughout the whole experience. There was a touch of sweetness up front, which is what I was looking for. I didn't want to jinx it by saying anything, but that's what I was looking for. Then um, the, that faded away, and then I got these melon notes, like like honey. I'm not sure if it's honeydew or cantaloupe, but I think it's more like honeydew. It's it's like a honeydew melon, but I, I get that flavor sometime in the white pods. So it was juicy, fruity. It went it sweet. The sweets faded away. Ah. It had this really neat melon flavor. Just a fantastic pepper. Now as far as the heat. Gonna give it a minute to see what it can do. While I'm doing that, we'll take a look at these pods. It's gonna be a great challenge. There are a couple pods that, while I'm looking forward to eating them, it's almost gonna be sad to do. I've been holding these two up. Look at the, the shape on these two peppers. I like the top of this pepper, the shape of the top of this one, but I like the tail of this one. If you could somehow put 
this tail on that pepper, it would be the, per these are both perfect, but I'm going to cut that down the middle. People have been taking note of my pepper cutting skills because I got them. I'm not trying to brag, but I got them. So this afternoon when I cut these open, I, I, I'm going to be able, I'm going to have time to cut each pod open because the way the, the uh, challenge works is I have a, it's set up like a boxing ring or a boxing match. I already have it set up. Oh, no, I don't. Ten rounds. Round time is one minute. Rest is 30 seconds. So here's how it goes. You'll hear this. Oh, you won't hear a thing, will you? You won't. I guess I have to uh, turn it on. Here we go. Very cool. I have a minute to eat the pods. So I'm going to cut the pods open and show you to them. And then when it winds down, you hear a ding, ding, two dings. And then I have a 30 second counter. That gives me a between rounds to recover. And the funny thing happens when you do a challenge like that. Peppers have a way of changing your perception of time. And they really do. Anybody who's done a something like this will tell you because it's not going to change. It's a minute per pepper. But the last minute doesn't feel like the first minute. You know what I mean? I'm, I feel like I'm, the, it's, it's going to go by like that. I'm not going. It's going to be hard to get that pepper down. While well, the first, the first, first five are going to be okay. I want to run this by you guys and tell me your thoughts. We'll see who watches the whole video. I'm thinking about doing something, trying something in this video, trying a no no reaction video. I'm going to see if I can eat them with no reaction. And see how far I can go without showing any reaction at all, like poker face, deadpan. I thought that'd be kind of fun to do. I've never done that. I've had people say I'm doing that and I'm not. But I was thought it might be fun to try a no reaction video. So in the frame of this boxing thing set up, try to be stoic and not show it. Let me know what your thoughts are. All right, so the heat's peaked. Um, the heat's about typical for a white ghost. So for a chili head, um, somewhere between a five and like a and five and an eight for a chili head. Now, I don't see a whole lot of chili heads calling this pepper a 10, but I can see somebody who's kind of a really enthusiastic chili head jumps on this and says it's an 8. I can see that. Non-chili head it would be very, very, very hot. Even though it's a white pepper, which is lower heat, like I said, it would st it's, still, you know, it's still a hot pepper. So they wouldn't like it. And they wouldn't taste the melon notes, and they wouldn't taste the sweetness or the fruitiness. It would just be a mouthful of pain. Now, you chili heads out there, you taste something different. And depending on where your tolerance is, will determine how much you taste. I mean it. Your window of opportunity is like this. If your tolerance is really small, your window of opportunity is really short. short. You put it and immediately it's pain. If your tolerance is like this, you can eat hot stuff and, and still process all the flavors you're taking because you're not overcome by pain. That's why I do what I do because I love the taste of these. These taste so amazing to me. Ugh. Oh. Anyhow, we're going to wrap it up. Thank you for hanging out with me. It's going to be a great day today. Let's make it great. I'll see you guys in, what time is it? I don't know, somewhere around one, between one and three, I'll probably have it uploaded, depending on how long it takes to do the upload. But um, I'll see you guys this afternoon. In the description box, you're going to see a link for the Mighty Mustache. Great peppers. He's a good guy, and that's the best tasting white Bucciolocchio I've had. And if your tolerance is high enough, you're going to taste melon notes, because I think Tom said he did. If I'm correct, I think he did say that. So this is a great pepper. He's in the description box. Right there is my pepper. I want to share it with you. Click that thing. This is your bus. I'm just driving it. If you don't want to miss a video, click the bell for notification. All right? But ultimately, just swing by the channel every day, because I upload at least two or three times a day. So if you're not getting the notifications, it's on them. But swing by. So you don't miss anything. Right there is the lifeboat, my brother Tommy's channel about victory over addiction. If you've got a problem with a substance, don't live like that. It gets better. It can. Right there is a good starting point. Right here, more videos. I'm Johnny Scovo. This was Chase the Heat.